this video we'll check out MC Ranch Overland School Tacoma build with AT Habitat as well as a patent pending product that he came up with that's supposed to keep the fire very small but super hot. Hey, how's everybody? Welcome to the MC Ranch Overland Tacoma. Yeah, so it's a 2016 access cab, manual transmission, which is kind of nice. I was lucky enough to get a AT Overland Habitat canopy for it, which is kind of unique because even though it looks quite large, it only weighs 340 pounds. When it opens, the bed actually cantilevers out the back here. So you've got the sleeping area, but then when you're in the back of the truck, you can stand up in the truck just like it's a camper, which, which is pretty nice. So the weight of it's really important, 340 pounds. You don't have a lot of you know, high center of gravity. Um, the ARB awning I installed and I made the standoff and everything because it has to clear the piston rod. That adds a little bit of weight to it. Yeah, so here we have uh, the Dickinson Newport, which is a, uh, they call it actually a fireplace made for sailboats and it's a low pressure system which is kind of cool um, it has a high and a low setting with a fan on low setting it's 4000 btus and it'll burn one pound of propane every eight hours so really quite efficient and then it has an a vent which the outside of the pipe is the combustion air which comes from outside and then the exhaust there's an inner exhaust pipe. And what's neat about that is when propane, when propane burns, it's about 50% water, the vapor that comes off. Mm -hmm. And you do not want that extra you know, moisture inside your tent or anything like that. And then here, this is the chimney. Um, and then this is just a cover, just a weather cover. And um, you know, when we get to camp, we just pop this off and, and that's the chimney. So uh, the smaller one out front here, is the exhaust and the other one is the, is the combustion air. And here's the magic, guys. Oh, and that's it. And there it is, Habitat set up. Uh, pull these down. The last step is to go inside the Habitat. So who is the guy with the cell phone? <laughs> That's actually Chrome from Band City Wildlife. Yeah. Go check him out. It's just I missed a portion of the uh, uh, habitat setup, so I'm kind of adding it now as well. Welcome to the habitat. Well, you can see, so what's unique about the habitat is your sleeping area is completely separate from you know, your work area. Mm -hmm. Sometimes Carol and I put out a camp chair if the weather's really bad mm -hmm. and we actually sit in here and we live in this space and we sleep in that space over there it is huge yeah here yeah, the really bed and this deck here i <laughs> didn't realize how big it is like i've seen them in the videos uh, but it is it yeah is big. no it's it's a really really unique uh, product you know a lot of the overlining you watch people seem to be in uh southern united states and in the deserts and stuff like that so here in you know northern british columbia and where it's cold and stuff you know you have to kind of uh, revisit the way you do things. This tent has kept us warm and dry 100% of the time. Nemo, who makes the tent, actually makes tents for the Navy SEALs. So we know the quality of the tent is excellent. And uh, so we're really trying to support AT Overland, uh, who makes the uh, habitat, and uh, and we really love the product. So I have a Fab 4 bumper, but Fab 4 unfortunately doesn't make a tire swing out. So I made this tire swing out for it with this. And then this is just an aluminum um, box that's made for pickup trucks, but I repurposed it. And in here, I keep my uh, easy to reach recovery, like my Max Tracks, kind of out of sight, out of mind. And then my dynamic uh, recovery gear only. Um, and again, very accessible. And I also put garbage in here. I kind of like the idea that um, it's away from bears, you know, when I'm instead mm -hmm. of having, you know, a, a trash or roo or something, and, you know, they get the smell from you know food and everything like that my friend charlie used to own high q antennas high q um sold antennas uh for the uh korean military the uh australian and also the u.s military you'll see these used, used in afghanistan a lot and i have this connected to my ham radio which is here i kind of repurposed it and put it um where the sunglass case goes so I have that ham radio and then I have another one which is just a UHF VHF which is right here 
But other than that, I haven't done too much here. I use this tablet for navigation for my Gaia maps and then just my phone. And, uh, you know, I like to keep things simple and clean in here. So here at the back, I have the military grade all pro leaf springs. They're rated to about 700 pounds uh, constant weight. I also have airbags in there, which is nice on the highway so I can, you know, stiffen things up and uh, not roll around so much. Um, I'd like to get custom made leaf springs that handle a thousand pound constant load. Um, I think these are a little bit light. Are your airbags uh, airlift? Um, or do, do they sit in the cradle? Like are they yeah, they, yeah they, 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 they have a cradle at the top okay, and so the bottom. Detach, yeah, so they can't miss, right? Mm -hmm. um, and then in the front, I have um, Radflow coilovers, and I'm really happy with those with the SPC um, upper control arm, which gives me substantial uh, down travel, which otherwise wouldn't be there. Uh, and then the SCS wheels, which is kind of neat because they're unique to Toyota and Jeep. Uh, Stealth Custom Series is the name of the company, and I'm really pleased with those wheels. Um, I think they look good. And, uh, they're not real beadlocks. This, this is a faux beadlock, mm -hmm. but still. Yeah, these, these are the Toyo Open Countries. This is a unique tire size. This is the 255-85R16. So they're quite narrow. They're only 10 inches wide, but they're 33 and a half tall. And as you know, the military always seems to run the cookie cutter type wheels and tires. And um, you just get a lot more surface pressure. So some people seem to think that they'll sink more and, and you don't get that flotation but at the end of the day, they actually give you a lot more traction. Then we've got the uh, RCI welded on rock sliders, uh, RCI skid plates underneath. Um, I've rerouted the exhaust uh, because there's a pass over on Toyota Tacomas, which the exhaust is actually the lowest part of the truck. So it's a huge liability when you're off road. So um, I had a Midas in Abbotsford, BC uh, relocate that. So now the exhaust is way tucked up inside. Prinsu roof rack. Um, most people use plus nuts um, to install them. And that's what comes factory on the four door Tacomas. Um, this access cab doesn't have that provision. So what I did is I actually took my headliner out and I through bolted the uh, roof rack. So this thing is not going anywhere. Um, Still, having said that, I don't like having a lot of weight on my roof. So I've got two aloe boxes, which weigh almost nothing. And this one has uh, basic cap gear in it. So I keep my white gas in here. I keep my air hoses in here for uh, inflating and deflating tires and things like that. Um, but just basically, you know, tent pegs, real, real just cap stuff, right? Like utility stuff. And then the other one, I keep my winch recovery stuff specifically, um, which Honestly, I hardly ever use my winch, uh, but it's all sitting up there and that doesn't particularly weigh a lot either. Well, it's the whole point of winches. You shouldn't use them yeah, all the time, it's right. that, but that like 5%, 1%. Yeah, you it's, really, a, it's really a one time. And, yeah. You know, I, I kind of have a philosophy with overlanding and being prepared. And because I used to be involved with search and rescue, I, I don't, I'm not always thinking of myself and my own truck. I'm thinking about other people that might get stuck out off road or be in a difficult situation so if you have a good first aid kit and a trauma kit and you have these things you have the peace of mind knowing that you can help other people right and that's really what mc ranch all the land is all about um, and then on the roof of course i have uh, an extra five gallons uh in that jerry can those are the ones that are actually made in germany so they're actually quite nice quality the 10 pound um propane tank that's also a little bit unique it can only be used in that configuration it has to be filled and used in a horizontal configuration but i like it because it's it's low and it's light and what i do with my furnace in the back is when i get to camp i just take it through the back window of the habitat and i just run the hose up to it and i screw it on and then you know there you go so and then i've got the baja designs uh, led light bar of course Yep. So rigid ditch lights, um, I've got uh, 4,800 Kelvin HID headlights because if your Kelvin is too high, like you see in a Porsche where it's 6,000 Kelvin, that real white light, you actually get less lumens. So this is optimized for actually light output. And then I have 2,400 Kelvin HID fog lights. And then this is a Southwest Design front bumper. Um, and then again, another rigid light bar. In here, I have a Smitty built uh, 10,000 pound uh, remote control or wire winch, whichever way you want to run it. And my fair lead comes through here. 
So under the hood, I'm a real believer overland vehicles are supposed to be reliable. So um, I haven't done hardly anything under here other than trying to keep my wiring as neat as possible. Um, North Star AGM batteries, that's the same as the RCMP used across Canada. Um, they were recommended to me. It seems like a very excellent battery. Um, and then I just have a small fuse block for my lighting, which is accessible. And then I have the single, um, the single A or B compressor here. Um, and then I have my axle breathers here as well. So as you know, when you go through cold water, the, um, the normal breathers that are on axle will close. So you don't get water migration into your axles. But what happens is then you have uh, a, a low compression, a low uh, pressure area, and then you'll actually suck water into your axle seals. So it's absolutely critical on any overland vehicle to, to breathe the axles like that. So I've introduced you to the MC Ranch Overland Tacoma. Well, what's, who's MC Ranch Overland? Well, it's a company uh, that my wife and I started. Um, everywhere that my wife and I lived, our friends and family called it MC Ranch as a term of endearment. So we sort of adopted it and we called it MC Ranch Overland. But what I've invented and I have an international patent pending on is a product and we, we call it the original fire reflector by MC Ranch Overland. Um, it comes uh, in a case that's made by a company that makes carrying cases for the military specifically. So when we say that it's military grade, it really is. It's, it's made by a company that does that type of stuff. Has the Delron military grade zippers. And then here's the original fire reflector. Original fire reflector, it's, um, it's made in British Columbia. It's hand assembled, uh, hand finished, and vetted for accuracy, if you want to call it, for quality. And basically what it is, is these four panels and all you do is you put them out like that, very, very simple, and you put it around your campfire. Even with a small campfire that's this big, this the campfire and the flame should not touch the fire reflector, not required, but you position a fire right here, you can feel the heat from that fire 10 to 15 feet away. It's absolutely incredible. The other thing it does is it reflects a lot of light, and that light really gives you this cozy feeling and creates community. And then when you're on a windy beach or a windy condition, it also creates not only a controlled environment for your campfire, but also for cooking. And when you're in the wilderness, what's important is your resources. It could be your fuel, it could be your wood, it could be, it could be charcoal, but they're all resources that need to be preserved. So what's nice about this is when you have your fire and you have the fire reflector around it, the wood isn't burning like a blowtorch and you're actually preserving your resource and using it a lot more efficiently. If you're actually cooking, um, you can stand on this side of the fire reflector and you can flip your steak or your corn from here and you actually have no heat at all. So when you approach the fire, it's actually safer. Really? That's actually cool. Yeah. That you yeah. Don't get so yeah. When, when we first used it and invented it, we it intended it to reflect light and heat. But as more people have used them, they're giving us emails and saying, oh, oh my God, look what it does. One of the other things is we had a uh, YouTube channel, The Epic Family Road Trip, um, and they were using it in the beach in Texas. And they said it was so windy there that they're eating their food and their sand in their food. So as soon as they started using the fire reflector, it was actually keeping that contamination out of their food. So that was, again, something we had never thought of, but it actually works. So How much is this and where people can get so it? So these are, depending on your IP, your uh, internet, access like your IP address in the states they're 375 US and in Canada they're 499 Canadian mm -hmm. and you can see it on our website at www.mcranchoverland.com mm -hmm. and uh, yeah they can be purchased there uh, we also have other supporters we have Big Tent Outdoors uh, Big Tent Outdoors is the Canadian exclusive distributor for iCamper and many other bespoke products and they've taken us under their wing and they're trying to support us with this um, a lot of these type of products are made in, in Asia and they don't cost very much to make and the quality is not there. But we're really trying to make an heirloom quality product that will create memories for you and your family for many, many years. So the idea is if somebody purchases something like this, they basically have it forever. 
Um, the other kind of neat thing about it is if you have two families and they both own a fire reflector, you could use one fire reflector for cooking and the other one you can get the campfire going. But at the end, when you finish cooking, you can actually, these are designed so you can laminate them together. So you can open up the fire reflector. You can put another fire reflector, you blend the other one on top of here. You can put a little pin in here and then the fire reflector will come out to here and you create a bigger nest for more people. Hey, Victor. Well, thanks for shooting this video with me. That was just awesome. That was a lot of fun. So if people want to know a little bit more about MC Ranch Overland, if you go to www.mc ranch overland on our website and read the about us page, you'll know that we're about building meaningful community. And obviously, if you're going to be in, into philanthropy and helping other people, you need a little bit of resource behind you. And that's why we're building the company with the uh, original fire reflector and we're trying to build community. So if you ever see my truck on the road, you know, give me a honk, give me a high beam flash and uh, and I'll pull over and we can say hi. Um, my personal cell phone number is on my website. Anybody is welcome to call me at any time. I never turn it off. But nice meeting you. Very nice to meet you, my friend. <laughs> Cheers. See ya. And what you do is you join them together.